you're experiencing so much with this show. How do you remain grounded? What what gets you to do that? Um, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't know. I, the whole grounded thing, it's, it's been weird. Like when people tell me things, of, any past stories, whether it's with this show or any other opportunities where it yeah. changes people, I don't really understand that because you just got to always keep in perspective and remember that it could all end at the last minute. Right. You know what I mean? Like the last thing you want to do is get too comfortable. You know what I mean? Because even if I was to win this show, that doesn't mean that like my career is automatically number one Grammy winning billboard right. artist. You know what I mean? I have to hustle. I have to work hard. Um, no matter what I do in life, I'm going to have to work hard. So I've just kind of always kept that mindset and also I'm just so grateful I I'm thankful right. I don't know yeah now through through all of these performances that you've done on the show what has been the most challenging for you to perform oh out of all the songs yeah. um honestly the most challenging and then also the most special was Ah, oh, well, actually, I take that back. Okay, I'll say this. <laughs> Faithfully, which I did in the top eight, right. that was one of the most um, challenging because that song is so out of my element as far as any genre I've ever sang before. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it's my favorite memory I'll ever have on this show. I've never had more fun than singing that song. I just felt an energy I've never felt before. Mm -hmm. um, but actually, I would say now the most difficult was my original. Yeah. You know, I mean... All of these other songs, in a sense, we're doing glamorized karaoke. Right. It's, it's someone else's song. It's someone else's baby. And now we get these songs, and this is my single. After this show is over, like years from now, I'm going to be asked to sing this song. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, this is now my baby, and I have to make it my own. I don't have another example to learn from, another version to listen to, to learn from. Like, right. this is me. So that was really difficult um, going from, you know, just learning and listening to the way a song already was to completely building something right. um, from the ground up but I'm so grateful that I had Miley because I couldn't have done that without her we were in the studio very late at night and even after I left she stayed long hours Jeez. she told me she stayed till 4 a.m. to make sure that the mix was perfect wow. um, yeah she's just she's so hands-on and she's such an incredible friend I couldn't ask for someone who believes in me more right. you know now why was this song so special for you that you want this to be your debut what, what is it about the song um, well, before Miley even presented it, she definitely pitched it very well. She brought it to me and she said, okay, listen, I, I want you to play this song, but before you do, just know that the two strong, incredible women mm -hmm. that wrote it, they watched every video of you on YouTube and I told them your story. Yeah. So they custom made this around everything yes. that they know of who Brooke Simpson is. Right. So when I first heard it, I just bawled. And I think what's so special about it is the fact that not only is it a song that you could hear in Top 40 radio today, but mm. also the message is so crucial and it's so important that it's being heard by right. not just women, but people Everyone. of all ages. Gen people are going to start covering it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, oh, that's cool. That's That'll be dope. Insane. Yeah. Now, lastly, for America, that those that haven't heard your, your debut single yet, what is what are you all about? Who are you? Um, I am Brooke Simpson. I'm Brooke freaking Simpson. I <laughs> love myself so much that if I wasn't married, I might marry myself. That might be illegal, but like seriously. And I think like that's this song screams that. But also, I'm a pop soul artist. I'm not James Brown. I'm not Britney Spears. I'm right. just somewhere in between. I'm Brooke. I'm. Yeah, I'm super happy, super obnoxious, and you either love me or hate me, but regardless, I love you.